This video covers the full orthodontic scan with the Itero Lumina Scanner, including best practices for scanning certain dental conditions. Scanning with the Itero Lumina Scanner offers a flexible, uninterrupted scanning experience. The larger field of view and greater capture distance allow the faster anatomy capture and improve the patient comfort. This scanning path demonstrates the best way to effectively capture the entire anatomy. To capture the incisal and labial of the anterior teeth, retract the lip in a U-shape with your fingers and follow the arch to get the anatomy. Start with the lower jaw. A quick occlusal sweep ensures seamless stitching. Hold the wand straight back and angulate it towards the opposite side of the arch, hovering above the occlusal surfaces. It's possible to touch the teeth if the patient finds it difficult to open their mouth too wide or in order to use the intraoral camera to get a closer look at an area of interest. Make sure to scan the incisal edges. Hover over dentition to capture both buccal and lingual anatomy. When scanning, look at the outline of the wand versus the viewfinder. The real-time outline shows the wand's angle. Then, roll lingual to fill in any missing anatomy. Hold the wand slightly buccally to fill in any missing anatomy without causing discomfort to the patient. Continue to the upper jaw, repeating the same sequence. Retract the lip in a V-shape and move the wand to capture lingual, incisal, and labial anatomy of anterior teeth. Roll lingual to fill in missing anatomy. Hover over the occlusal and position the wand posteriorly. To capture the posterior areas of the arch, bring the tip of the wand toward the terminal molar, hovering above the occlusal, and tip the base of the wand away and toward the patient in a rocking motion. To capture the anatomy from the buckle, keep the wand steady and parallel to the arch, and slide the tip of the wand toward the cheek with a tilting motion without rolling to the buckle. Then, twist the base of the wand slightly to the buckle and lingual palatal back and forth, keeping it parallel. It could also be helpful to ask the patient to relax their jaw and slightly close their mouth, which will allow the wand to move further. If the patient has enough flexibility in the cheek, you may also slightly tilt the wand to the buckle, moving further from the cheek, dropping the wand down while retracting the distal part. When scanning the upper arch, during the occlusal sweep, you may notice that the palate is being built. Continue scanning it at a closer distance to ensure that all the palatal anatomy is captured. Scan the bite. Ask the patient to open their mouth and place the wand parallel to the teeth. Use the wand to retract the cheek. Pull the cheek away from the teeth and turn on the wand. Capture three or four teeth while moving forward in a slight wave-like motion. You don't have to touch the teeth. Once captured, turn off the wand. Move to the contralateral side with the patient's bite remaining closed using the same technique. Review the complete scan in the color and monochrome mode to ensure the complete anatomy is accurately captured. Here are some guidelines for scanning specific dental conditions. The Itero Lumina Scanner has multi-angle capture to enable faster and easier scanning for crowded teeth. To ensure a successful capture, use tilting motions and continuously move the wand to fill in all the anatomies. Leverage the Itero Lumina's scanner large capture distance to capture the anatomies that include missing teeth. Hover above the edentulous area, parallel to the occlusal plane. Tilt the wand buccally and lingually to complete the entire ridge. To ensure the capture of the interproximal surfaces while scanning from the buccal and lingual directions, tilt the wand at an angle to the interproximal surfaces and scan in a brushing motion. In some cases, you can also use the rocking motion to capture more anatomy. Leverage the large field of view to scan children and small mouths. While hovering over the occlusal surface, make sure to simultaneously capture the buccal and lingual anatomy by bringing the wand to the opposite side of the arch and then retract the cheek with your fingers to fill the missing buccal anatomy. To perform a scan for a deep palate, 
After making a quick occlusal sweep, place the wand parallel to the occlusal plane close to the palate without touching the tissue so the base of the wand faces towards the front teeth. Tilt the wand using a rocking motion from side to side to capture the palatal anatomy. Thanks for watching the video. Visit the Learning Center to watch more training videos. It starts with iTero.